Then give me an M. Give me an E. Give me a T. Give me an A. Give me an L. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me double time. Last year you celebrated the 20 years of Master of Puppets album, playing the whole uh, uh, album in its ent entirety. You played also in uh, Spain, I think. Uh, what's so magic about Master of Puppets? I mean, Dream Theater played the whole album in their uh, shows. Machine Head said that they're going to do their own Master of Puppets. New bands like Trivium, Muffet Sevenfold, Bullet From My Valentine, they all worship, they all bow to Master of Puppets. Do you think that Metallica can, or any band can have the opportunity to repeat its magnum opus again? Well, I, I think it's more of a, a a landmark when I think a band says, we want to record our Master of Puppets. That's more of the landmark you... you. I think it was a bit of a peak in the band with Cliff Burton. Just like the Black Album was, I think, a peak with Jason. And maybe our... We'll peak somewhere with with Ro or, you know Robert somewhere, but Master Puppets. Who knows? Who knows why? Just a bunch of good songs at the right time that happened. You know. Uh, Robert Plant has said about Stairway to Heaven. I don't care about this song. I was just 22 years old when I wrote it. Are you saying the same for Master of Puppets? I, it's not that I don't care, but there's no extra thought put in it. it. We were just doing what we were supposed to do, and that's play our best music. And we were just thinking about that the other day. We were driving in England and looking in the, all the bushes between the estates, you know, saying, oh, that's a hedgerow. And then we started singing, there's a bustle in your hedgerow, you know, the, the lyric from Stairway to Heaven. Go, what is that? The most popular song in the history of rock has some gibberish lyrics, you know. It's just magic somehow. <laughs> I work with Rick Rubin as a producer and uh, this guy has worked with bands from uh, ACDC to uh, Johnny Cash and from uh, Slipknot to Red Hot Chili Peppers and Linkin Park. What's so special uh, on uh, Rick Rubin and why did you uh, pick him up to produce your new album? Uh, well, yes, you're right. It, it's not luck. <laughs> it's not luck that he's, he's, these albums that he does are, 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 they sound good and they hit, they hit the mark. They hit the mark. That's why I think uh, Bob Rock. It, God bless Bob Rock. He's we've learned so much from him. But at a point, we were too too enmeshed, too enmeshed together, and I think we needed to just separate for a while. And working with someone new, uh, 
someone who we, we might be able to respect. It's tough <clears throat> when you're at the top of your game and you've done it all and you need someone to show you things and or hopefully he's going to show us some things we don't know. Okay, last question. Uh, there's a lady in Sweden, she named her daughter Metallica after your band. There is an author in the United States, uh, William Irwin, who wrote a book about Metallica and philosophy, and he tried to spot the connection between Metallica, Plato, and Nietzsche. Uh, there, there are kids who fight discussing Metallica. I mean, uh, do you feel all this, uh, do you feel responsible for all these people? Do you sometimes feel that uh, the name Metallica is somewhere out of your control? Absolutely, absolutely, yes. <laughs> We are four very grateful and lucky kids that play music. And we got together and started playing music. The name is big. Man, you influenced the life of so many people. This lady named her daughter Metallica. The other guy wrote a, his diary based on Metallica and philosophy. I don't know what to say. Uh, we're just doing what gift we have. And their gift may be writing a book. Uh, naming your kid Metallica, I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe my dog or something, yeah. but your child, hey, if, if they love it so much, why not? You know, people getting married to Metallica songs. Uh, you know, it's hopefully, it's not just the trendy thing. It, it really moves you. And everyone in life just wants to be moved and feel like they are a part of something or, or feel alive. And Metallica music does that for, for me. And uh, I'm grateful that it does it for a lot of other people. Come on now!